Well, the Walker County School Board met again tonight amid controversy. This after an attempt to remove the county superintendent last week. Well, that attempt angered hundreds of people. News 12's Nick Hill returned to Lafayette to see what happens next. He joins us live in the studio. Nick. Andrew, that's an understatement. Last week, the Walker County School Board allegedly attempted to remove Superintendent Damon Range for reasons still unclear. While the public did not get a chance to speak at that meeting, given the board was hidden from them by calling an executive session, today a few members of the public got a chance to address the board. However, the information the board was willing to dish out was still limited, to the chagrin of an audience left with few answers. Yes, ma'am, I am a student. I'm sorry, we've already had two students. <coughs> ma'am, my peers spoke. Why can I not because speak? Because one of your group was supposed to speak. You come together as a group. I'm sorry, I'm so intelligent. Perhaps one of the most contentious moments of the meeting was when a student was attempting to speak, but was shut down by the board due to their rules of how many people could speak on a given topic. This rubbed many in the crowd the wrong way. I guess they're afraid of what the students think and they're just in for what they think and that's why they're trying to get Mr. Ains out of there in the first place. Many in the crowd felt like their concerns were being ignored. The timing of everything is very questionable. Well, you could tell by their the, their facial expressions they didn't want to hear the things that they heard. Um, I don't think that they have the best interest of the educators and the students of Walker County. I think that they have their own vendetta, and it's clearly showing through their actions. While the topic of the superintendent was informally discussed by the board, one member made a motion related to the controversy. Tina Painter claims an uninvited attorney showed up to Friday's executive session, which was held out of public view for two and a half hours. Mr. Meeks refused to leave until he was ex escorted out of, by two Lafayette police officers. She went on to call for documents presented by a different attorney to be publicized, which was voted down. No further action was taken on the night against Reigns, but that did not stop students from voicing their appreciation for their superintendent. We know who Superintendent Damon Reigns is, and more importantly, he knows who we are. He knows every single one of our names. Here I hold one example of hundreds, maybe even thousands of personal letters that he has taken the time out of his day to send. It is so simple, but it is such a sweet act. We did ask once again if any of the school board members had a comment on the situation. Once again, they declined. Reporting live, Nick Hill, News 12.